Hey everybody, Rob Maurer here, and today we are going to take out FSD Beta 10.6 out for its first drive, my first drive with it at least. Uh, so we got the release notes here, and I'll just kind of put those up on screen. You guys can read through it. Uh, I'm sure many of you already have seen them by now. I kind of just want to get right into the drive. Uh, we've got kind of a rainy, drizzly evening, so I don't have my top camera on. We're just going to film from the interior today, and we'll see how the new version does uh, with a little bit of rain on the roads. Kind of slick, not great, you know road visibility with some of the water pooling and things like that so it's not icy or anything even though you know we're getting into december here no snow not a lot of snow yet in milwaukee so uh, when we get that we'll definitely take it out i don't expect you know great results when that happens but uh it's a little bit dark i'm just using my phone light right now so i'm going to turn that off uh, and we'll just get right into the drive and see how it does we'll do kind of the normal milwaukee loop that we've i guess sort of established and we'll just go to bradford beach And again, we're in the pick and save parking lot, as we kind of have been. And I turned off the navigation voices. A lot of you told me that I can lower the volume, and yes, I do. <laughs> I do know that it was on the lowest it could possibly be before, but still pretty loud. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it does in the parking lot. Obviously, that's sometimes hit or miss. But I haven't driven it yet at all. Uh, we're not enabling it. Enableable yet. There we go. All right. So we got a person right off the bat here. It seems a little bit confused on exactly where it wants to head, but it's starting to figure it out. Visualization is looking good. Oh, it's taking us to the right this time, so we're taking a slightly different route. We should still get back up to like North North Ave where we usually drive. Uh, it's just going to be a slightly different way out of the parking lot. So we've got to yield for this pedestrian here. Kind of split the gap between the two. Alright, that was cool. It's really solid. It feels smooth so far too. Alright, figuring out what they're doing letting them cross as we kind of creep forward and establish position. Now we should be good to go, no pedal. All right. Pretty darn good out of the parking lot again. So we'll take a left here. This will get us back over to where, okay. It's turning us a little bit into the middle of the lane. And we don't have any cross traffic. We do have a car behind. I forgot to put my new driver sticker on this time. So I'm just going to slightly annoy them a little bit, inexplicably. Okay, so no pedal. Uh, it was a little tentative, but we got through there. And for those wondering, I do just have my wipers on auto setting right now. All right, so we're taking a right out here onto north. Again, pretty, pretty sensitive. And we'll see if it puts us in this bike lane, which it is. <laughs> All right, figured it out. And it's really tough to see uh, the, the lines right now. I don't know if that's going to come through on the camera, but again, just with all the water on the road, it's not quite as clear. So we had a bit of a break there. And I just am on the normal FSD setting, so the middle of the three. I think there's chill normal and aggressive. I can't remember what the middle one is called, but I'm on the middle one. And it's taking us to the right, which is not where we should be right now. The car behind me is getting definitely confused for good reason. Um, yeah, this is going too long. I just need to get back over. So, I was letting it go there for a bit to see if it would get over. It seems to definitely be hugging to the right a little bit more than I would usually experience. And I'd, I'm assuming that's just because of the the water on the road. I wasn't really looking at the visualization to see how that would be. I'm going to turn on the climate control here while we're at the stop. My window's fogging up a bit, as you guys can probably see. 
yeah, I'm sorry about the... <laughs> I know you can't really see me too well. All right, so we got a green. Yeah, and you can see with the visualization, it just doesn't seem to be picking up as much as it usually would. Definitely through that intersection. But otherwise it's been doing well, except for obviously being in the, <laughs> the lane it shouldn't have been in. Which I know it's not a lane, but obviously it does not. Did not. So we'll go through up here. We'll hit that roundabout. We are going a little bit slow right now, which is fine. With the lead car, it might get a little bit more confident, although they're turning off. So I'm not using the accelerator, even though we are going quite slow right now. You can see. Yeah, sorry it's so dark. I didn't bring my light out with me. All right, so here's the roundabout. And a little hesitant, but we're getting through there. And now we're stopping for some reason. No reason, really. Stopped at traffic control, it said. Which there obviously isn't. So I tapped the accelerator there, we carried through around about here. And we gotta not get in this car's way as they're turning left. Sometimes it'll lead a little bit left on these left turns, kind of unnecessarily. I do have a car behind me. Let's go. All right, I'm using the accelerator just so I don't annoy them too much. And we'll go on a sort of the hairpin turn here, which, yeah, it's gonna be Maybe tough to pick up the lines, but got it. And as you guys probably remember, we usually sort of go over this line as we come out of this turn, which isn't really a huge deal, as long as there's no car there. Yeah, it's a similar performance to what we've seen in past versions. So we got through there, and it's wanting to take us left here to go to the beach. I'm going to reroute us. We're going to head down this way, and then go back through downtown. So I'm going to cancel that. And let's say Milwaukee Art Museum. Harley-Davidson Museum. This should actually take us back through downtown a little bit. So we get some more interesting things. Visualization's looking pretty good though. You know, for me, like the visibility, it's not great right now. But it's definitely picking up the lane lines and where we should be. Looks pretty smooth. This road it always does pretty well on. If you guys noticed, but I recently turned on traffic visualization. Um, I'm gonna turn that off for this though. I feel like it's a little distracting. So this should take us a little bit through more of downtown, then we can head back up north. Again, through some interesting things in there. Yeah, so far I don't know that I see a whole lot different. I, I would say it's tough to compare in this sort of a environment just because we haven't really done a nighttime rain wet road drive. And like I was talking about with Alex Potter, even if we have the exact same conditions, it just may be whatever changes happen in any individual version could end up looking like a lot of progress for me and two steps backward for somebody else or vice versa. And I think we see that a lot now with so many different people testing it. A lot of people sort of report initial 
experiences that are, you know, a little bit different from each other. Some people, a lot of people were super happy with 10.5 and as more testing came out, it seemed like less of a step forward. So it's, it's just really tough to gauge. So I might just, I might speed through parts of this. We'll see what, how the edit comes out. And again, that's the, the beauty of FSD is <laughs> the more boring these videos get, hopefully that means the better it's performing. Because before FSD videos, I'm sure many of you weren't sitting in watching YouTube and watching people drive their cars around. <laughs> I mean, to each their own, but not necessarily my hobby. Oh, we got a Model 3. Hi, Model 3. I hope Tesla adds that to the visualization soon. Tesla vehicles. So it's doing pretty well. Again, I don't know if you guys can, you know, how well it's coming through on the, on our camera here, but it's, these lines are tough to see in these conditions. And aside from maybe once or twice a little bit of drifting, I think it's done well to approximate where things are and stick to it. And okay, I'm getting confused there. I hope that doesn't count as a disengagement for me. I didn't see what the exact warning said. So it was drifting in the right lane there, which I think was a turning lane. I'm not locked out of FSD, so I don't think it's a... Yeah, okay, so it's not happy right now. So that said take over immediately. I saw the warning that time. It didn't, it wasn't like a pay attention thing. And my guess is it's just the lack of visibility with the roads being slick. So I'll read. Uh, auto steer temporarily unavailable. Uh, if you're kicking me out, I'll be very sad here, Tesla. Obviously, I've been paying attention. Um, okay, so I'm not seeing any option to re engage yet. So I might have to pull over and put it in park, and we'll see. I guess here at this intersection, I can probably do that. So we should have a second. It doesn't seem like it's giving me any option. So I'm gonna put it in park. Let's go back in. I don't know if that's gonna fix it, but we'll see. Otherwise we might just have to call, call it early on this one. Yeah, I'll have to look at when, when I watch this back to see if it said, because the, the new warning is Please pay attention to the road. And obviously, my eyes were on the road. When we got the police takeover immediately, warning. And it doesn't seem to be letting me engage. We'll see when I start driving here. Yeah, it's not looking like it. I mean, I can try and park and get out of the car and See if that works. That might reset my screen recording. So I might lose that if I try that. But I suppose that's all we have left to try. Um, that's a bummer. So after this light, I'll just pull over to the side here, put it in park, get out. See if that lets us re-enable. Yeah, it seemed in both those situations it just kind of lost the the lanes as a new lane for turning appeared. It got really confused and just kind of noped out, which is fine. But I prefer to not be locked out because of that. So I'm gonna get out and I'll see you in one second. And again, I'm, that might mess up the screen recording. We'll see here. <laughs> oh, 
All right, we're back. Um, let's see if this is still recording. Seems to be. Hopefully, that's still recording. All right, we're still recording everything. Uh, we still got our navigation in here. Turn my hazards off and we're off. And it seems like we're still locked out, which is super concerning. Oh man. Well, I wonder how the... <laughs> the visualization is still there, so I don't know. I don't know. If Tesla kicks me out because of this, at least I have it on film that I was paying attention. So that would be sad. We'll drive through here, and if we don't see it up here, once we get some solid lines. Yeah, it's not even giving me traffic or cruise control right now, which normally that's just always there. So, I guess that's going to be it then uh, for this video. I'm just going to have to go back and let it sit for a while, and hopefully it'll, it'll return. Let me just pull off to the side, though, and... Yeah, all right, so that is it for this episode, I guess. And <laughs> we'll, we'll see you tomorrow for the podcast. And I'll let you guys know if beta comes back for me. Um, fingers crossed, I guess. But yeah, I guess. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications so that you can find out if FSD beta returns for me. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon.